from the west end of the city appeared before a special youth court this afternoon. They were remanded in custody for a week. And that's North News tonight. Breakfast News is back as ever tomorrow morning at 6.25. John Ketley with the weather now from us. Good night. Good evening to you. It's going to stay pretty cold and showery now for the next three or four days. Now today we saw bright sunshine at opposite ends of the country. Quite prolonged sunshine too for Aberdeen and Dundee and Bournemouth down here in southern England. All those three places actually measuring virtually eight hours of sunshine, but there was a slow-moving band of rain, heavy showers, lying across central parts of the country around the middle of the day. Well, that band is now clearing away from south-east England. This bump of high pressure means a fairly clear, frosty night to come across many parts of the country. Enhanced showers, though, coming in from the Atlantic as that system rattles into western parts during the second half of Friday morning. Well, the showers then fading away pretty rapidly, clearing the skies inland, but the showers keeping going around these northern and western coasts in particular. Some quite heavy ones and still some hail and snow in the showers over northern and western Scotland. A few mist and fog patches perhaps developing over central and eastern parts following early evening showers. But it's the frost that's the main thing tonight, with temperatures again down to about minus four perhaps in the glens of Scotland. A touch of frost right the way down towards southern England, but onshore breezes in the west and close to southern England, keeping temperatures a few degrees above freezing. It all means a nice bright start tomorrow, plenty of blue sky around, but already the showers gathering here in the west, and some pretty heavy ones are going to be too, blustery ones as the wind picks up from the southwest, and you'll find prolonged showers moving northeast across the country during the day. I think the worst of the weather probably across Scotland and Northern Ireland for a time, just a few showers getting into central and then eastern parts of England during the second half of the afternoon. Well, temperatures very much the same as they were on Thursday, actually about 9 to 11 degrees. Not exciting, but even so in the sunshine, perhaps not feeling all that bad. But the chilly winds keeping going right into the weekend. There'll always be a weakness down here to the southwest. We'll find cloud and rain spilling in from time to time, so we'll need to keep an eye on that in the forecast for the next few days. Now, as far as Saturday morning is concerned, well, some rain down in the extreme south of England first thing. That should clear away fairly quickly. Then it's a mixture of sunshine and showers everywhere, with the more widespread showers always likely to be across northern and western Scotland on Saturday and again on Sunday. Even our greatest and most revered institutions are mixtures of good and bad. Freeze! Freeze! Even police officers are, as we shall see, not completely infallible. I think I've dislocated my trouser furniture. <laughs> I have gone undercover. Well, that should fool them. The Thin Blue Line returns with a brand new series next Thursday at 9.35 on BBC One. Bring them in and lock them up. Lock them all up. Lock everyone up. <laughs> More of the best bits from They Think It's All Over in 45 Minutes. First on BBC One, it very nearly was all over for Eddie and it's had a profound effect in the concluding part of The Last Shout. She is a virgin in a world where...